Hi and welcome to my little tutorial about how to insert images on AO3. So this is only the Dropbox version. I know that there are other kind of clouds that work. Google Drive sadly doesn't. So Dropbox is free and uh, this is why I, I recommend using that one. So it's on HTML right now and we need to switch to rich text. Wherever you want to insert your image, you need an empty space. So just click into your text that you find one. It doesn't matter if it's at the beginning, at the end or in the middle of it. You can do this anywhere. So then we tap on the little icon on the upper right side so that we open the insert edit image option. Now we need a link, obviously, to the image that you stored online. And for that, I switch to my Dropbox account and don't be faced, I know it's German, but you know the icon to copy a link should be easily to find. So unfortunately, we can't just insert the link that we just copied. We need to play around with it a bit. So you see this link I already prepared. And if you compare it to the one that I just copied, the ending is a bit different. So the first one with the raw at the end shows the version that you need. So you basically only have to fix the ending and this gives you the link to the raw image um, on Dropbox, not the one that is opened in the included system. So you just end, replace the DL with raw and the zero with one and then you're ready to go. So you just copy this one and go back to your story and put it into the source. You will see there are the sizes already popping up. So if you put this in, it will be huge. So I personally do one thing. I put 100% at the beginning for the width and keep the height empty. So this will show the image always as big as the screen is wide. So obviously on a computer it will be rather large. On a phone it will be rather small. It's obviously you can just save it in a smaller version. I personally think it's the best. So with the image description it's always good to insert something in case something doesn't work or somebody has um, images disabled so that they know what this is about. Now I'm just putting banner into it. I will change that later. Usually I put a small image description in it. So then you press save and you will see there it is. So if you go on preview it will be even easier to see. And you see, as I'm doing this on my phone, this is exactly the width that the text also has. And this is it. Pretty easy. Just save or publish and you're ready to go.